Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engineer Hawk. Today we're gonna take a look at ES44, but mine's gonna have a special paint steam. So uh, let's get in the house, get back there at the Lawn Theater Railroad, and let's look at these models that we got. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to receive a notification when I post videos to the channel. But today we're gonna take a look at some recent ads to the locomotive roster in 2023. And we're gonna start off here with this uh the skull trains the es44 ac the hashing the pennsylvania railroad and we followed up with a city road there with the 1207 and finally we're going to have uh, another city road here at the 1202 so this is the three i got today and we're going to open it up and compare the model to the prototype and see what exactly we'll be getting starting off with the pennsylvania railroad locomotive here we're going to open it up and see what we get inside So we got the phone, owner's manual. Of course, you gotta open it up. Take a look inside. Put off the information there. How's your warranty? About your sound card and different functions that your decoder has. Okay, this DCC. Take a look at that there. Of course, you can change all the CVs and settings here. When your locomotive is all everything is a factory settings but you always can change that there but purpose of the video we can keep everything factory then i'll go in and change the things that i want to change for my locomotive so put this out the way slide this out of course you got the hard plastic hard clear surround the model come with extra rolling bearing here this one had came with two and of course you get the soft Wrapping the model. This is up out the way. I'll remember to take off these truck stabilizers here. If you set it down, we'll fall over. And we'll take out these handrail protection here on this locomotive. So let's compare the model to the prototype here. That we have a uh, five stripe there for our Pennsylvania Railroad there. Now this model represents the PTC. Um, this model is back in uh, for 2012 so i think it's brand new fresh out the uh, shop here with a nice gloss coating but here we have kind of like a, a matte finish here but uh looking at the details and labeling it on the model now uh, we come down here uh, we go have a yellow center sill throughout the uh, locomotive with the individual brakes here and get your labeling on these uh three panels uh, you got your jack and pad detail which is uh here um, the LSL capsule light is uh, also here on a model and on a prototype. The uh, conductor side window here it has the front and the rear mirrors. You got your sunshade there. You got your three panels here on the electrical cabinet slash diamond brake uh, area here. Of course, it has three of the labels there. You come down to the railing here. It appears to be correct. And you come down to the fuel filler detail here. That you got to merge your shit off. Your fuel tank inlet, which is here, your sight glass, and this is your fuel tank readout. Is there it appears in your correct location? And come down to the cabinet here, the details there looks pretty good. Now, in this NS, you see that it's split with this cabinet, which is as you get here, it is on the prototype, Pennsylvania going down. All the lettering once again looks to be correct and you have your labeling and the correct locations on this uh, long hood of this locomotive take a look at the handbrake looks uh, pretty good there compared to the prototype uh, you come down here of course you have your brake stick holder here which is on the model and here uh, compares on the uh, prototype there and of course that chain detail looks pretty good and looks like they have the appropriate trucks on this uh, locomotive rare uh, you do have your high mounted lights, a Sandfield hatch, Pennsylvania logo in the middle with two vertical grab lines. Uh, your dish lights detail, of course, your yellow center sill, and you have your MU connector cables here is red. It looks pretty good. Of course, your coupler, your air holes, and your main reservoir actuating and a release. Hoses here looks uh, pretty good. Front of the locomotive with the high mounted headlight, the 8102. There looks good, good font. Coming down here, you got your uh, cutout there, and you have your pocket to put your lock in, which is hanging here on the prototype. And we're not gonna see it, but 
uh, you got another uh, door lock that shows a hair on your uh, door. Solid with no window. Of course, you got dish lights there. You got MB holes. Of course, your coupler. And also has that electronic brake system here on this uh, model as it does uh, per prototype. Plow detail also. It definitely cut out as it is per prototype. The model represents this. To the prototype, I will take a look at this uh, head and this locomotive. I'll start from the top there. We got a, a grabber and always on top here. The number boards. That looks good. The font looks correct. The model has the gaskets that's around the number boards and the uh, window. It's pretty good. Of course, you got the both have the grab lines there. That's on top of the windshield wipers. Uh, appears to be going this the correct direction, I should say. Nose mounted headlight. You got your lock here. There's represented here on the model, which is pretty good. And you also have this grab line that's on the door. That's yellow. And where it bolts onto the door, it's blue. Uh, good attention to detail coming down to the uh, window as I say the gasket here it has the label now on the prototype the handle is blue but the model is yellow that's the uh, one thing that really doesn't stand out if you're looking at a picture of the model compared to the prototype you wouldn't even know but you know it's not really a big deal the stanchions here are yellow as it is on the model ditch lights are silver and you got your Electrical jumper cord here, which is in yellow. That's good. And you got the red for a hot side. Uh, come down here, you have your MB hoses here on both sides. That the model has it. And you got your airline here. And also have that electrical brake system on this locomotive. Now, on the model, it doesn't have the a correct coupler, but that can be uh, fixed. Take a look at the model here. Uh, we have our sunshades. You got your mirrors here. You got uh, one on the front, one on the bottom, and the back it appears to be correct. Good font and placement of the lettering. And you have your labels near the uh, on the nose. And you do have your detail here for your flag holders, which is uh, represented very well. More labels here along the locomotive. That's all right. That's all right, is in place. Uh, coming down the electrical cabinet here. You got this guy that's uh, doesn't have a vent on it. And as, as it is as per prototype, now you have a label here. This uh, uh this one's a little higher, it's a little shorter, but it's as I say, very subjective because things does change, you know, on the models on the in real life. But uh, coming along here, you got more labels here on this uh model. It appears to be in the correct location here. Also two on the bottom. Now you got the center still. It's completely yellow as it is uh per prototype. Now you look at your fuel tank details here. You got your uh, sight glass. And you got your emergency shut off and you got your full filler hatch which all appears to be in a correct location also right here they get rid of that water all the labels on this guy here one two three one two three appears to be in a good location on the model things do change so this photo is taken in december 19 2015 so things you know could have changed but so far the model represents this prototype very well once again February 15 2013 look fresh brand new out the shop I'll take a look at the details compared to the model so we have the high mounted horizontal lights it's good there you got the Sanford house directly under it you have a vertical grab barns you got your deck mounted dish lights Paint is silver, looks good. And of course, you got your center so yellow all the way around. Um, even have the grab bar in here that's on top of the MB hoses painted yellow. That's a good attention to uh, detail there. Now we come to this uh, section here of this uh, radiator or the long end of the hood that you have a label in here. You got your handbrake with your apply and release buttons here on the uh, model. And you have a label right next to that, looks pretty good. <laughs>
it's powered by the ESU and all of the settings are uh, factory. Of course, you go to owner's man and change that up. So to start them up, F8. F0 the lights. F6 is the dish lights. Also, this has a truck light and this locomotive, and the walkways are uh, lit there, or the walkway lights. So, this is uh, get a run in here. So I got up the uh, 20 minute speed steps out of 28 uh, here. We're going to click over to the uh, F4 there for the diamond bricks. And it sounds like the down brakes is uh, not trick there. So I'm going to slow the speed down from 21, going down to 15. See me changing my value. Alright, the 15, we're going down to 10. Alright. I'm going to come out the down of brakes. Hit F4 again. Uh, good. That sounds like pretty good day. Transition. I'm going to bring it down to zero. Alright, let's get a brick square there. So let's like cut the sound here and listen to some of the other sounds they have on this locomotive. Alright, fade again. Alright, cool. So I'm going to lift the F3 there for the uh, coupler. Hit it again. It's pretty cool. Now let's do a F tenure. See if we can get a sound off that. Hey, sound pretty good to me. Check out the Cab door, F22. All right. Now F23 is for your engine compartment doors.
Let's take a listen to the F11 there. That's the right old fan sound. Now the F13 or the slow spit about. Time isolation switch is at 15. Now, F17 is the brick set and release. Now F18 is the same about 